Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to predict a card that a spectator will cut to in advance from a shuffled borrowed deck. It's super cool, super easy. Stick with me and you'll learn how to do it right now. Okay, and there's no hyperbole in anything I'm saying. This is actually a truly shuffled pack of borrowed cards you could do this with. And you can do it at a moment's notice as an impromptu trick, and it's killer. After they shuffle the deck, you can, they hand it back to you. You look through and try to get an impression of where they're going to cut, right? But really all you're doing is you're trying to spot that top card, which in this case is the Jack of Hearts. So you're making your prediction, you're going through the cards, you're going, okay, I'm not going to change the order at all, okay? But I just want to get an idea which card's kind of calling out to me, which card feels like the one that you're going to select. You can use, I'm using a pocket square for my uh, suit, but you could use a napkin, you could use a towel, you could use anything that you have at your disposal to cover the cards momentarily. Because it does two things. One, it makes, I think, the presentation stronger because now you're saying, look, if I flinch or I am talking to you and in any inflection in my voice, I don't want you to think that I am manipulating or trying to encourage the cards to be cut at any point. So by having them under cover of the handkerchief, it's a blind cut. There's no way that I can anticipate where you're going to cut and try to dissuade you from cutting at that point. Once you get the cards underneath the handkerchief, you're actually going to flip them 180 degrees like this, right? You're just gonna flip the entire deck over under the handkerchief. Now what this means is that means that they can cut to anywhere that they want to, and the only card they're not going to disturb is the top card, right? I use the back of a business card and I just write my information, you know, my prediction on top of it. I've got it, I think I've got it. Um, put the handkerchief over top. As that happens, you flip the cards upside down. You don't make this obvious, right? That's This is the whole secret so that you don't want them to know the cards are face up now. And then they can legitimately cut through the, through the handkerchief anywhere they want to, and they just hold the cards there and as you bring your hand out, you're going to flip the cards over back 180 degrees. So that way they take really what's the top card, but the card they think they cut to. Okay. So they take that card. You can either look at it or not, depending on your presentation. If you want to keep it a secret, the cards are replaced. You just take the entire back deck back out under the handkerchief again, face down. They look at their card and then you can show your prediction matching. I definitely have to thank my supporters and minotaurs who make this channel go. It's uh, I, all the funding I get from them is how I buy more magic to review for you guys and also fund upgrades and stuff to this channel. It makes the whole thing go. So I'm thankful to each and every one of you. And if you're interested in becoming a supporter or a minotaur of this channel, there will be links uh, down in the description. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys next week.